everyone. Welcome to our episode 2 of our mini series. As promised, we have a special guest. She's none other than Joyce from Fish with Joyce. Hello. My name is Joyce. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joyce. Um, so, I understand that you are new to leo fishing. So, how how many how long have you been trying leo fishing? I've been trying for 4 months. And I fish during my weekend time. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, what kind of species have you been catching so far? I caught some small pickle bass and tamansis, as also small tomans. Oh, okay. Nice. So, today, shall we go and catch more fish? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, uh, basically to cast this far, number one, I think it's important to have a proper setup, meaning that the, the rod, the line, and your lure must match. Uh, in this case, I noticed that your, your setup is pretty balanced. So the common mistake that a lot of people make when casting is actually they like to use a lot of strength um, using the whole arm they're thinking that you use a lot of strength, using a lot of strength will cast further. Actually, that is um, a common mistake. Um, most of the guys that if you're able to cast far, is to make use of the rod more. Means that you load the rod, the rod and use the momentum of the rod to carry the, uh, the lure forward. So basically, what I do is I just load it, and then with a good timing, I just pick it. Yes. So maybe you can give it a try. Okay, uh, Joyce, for every lure has its own action. So now we are using the Trigger X uh, slot hopper. So I would say one of the simplest um, uh, luring technique for this is to have a steady retrieve. So basically, we will just cast out and then you just turn your reel steadily. So this is what we call a steady retrieve. By doing this, the, this slot hopper will actually, the tail will kick will kick left and right, vibrate left and right. So the beauty about this technique is that um, besides you, when you steady retrieve, you can actually vary the speed as well. So when you retrieve a little bit faster, so what it does is that the, the tail will kick much faster. But when you slow down your retrieve, the tails will slow, like a little bit more sloppy. So depending on the mood of the fish, then you apply the different speed to get the fish fight the, the lure. The other uh, method for working this trigger axe is uh, what I call um, you will basically you just retrieve and twitch, right? When you retrieve, you use your wrist to twitch this way. So what it does is that it will make the lure has a pause, go, pause and go kind of action instead of it moving most of the time. Because when you have this kind of pause and go um, retreat, basically that will arouse the fish curiosity. They are curious to see 
on why is this thing moving and stopping and moving and stopping so it gives them a little bit of time for them to think before they strike the lure all right so this this method okay Take it back, how do I retrieve it? Okay, this is going to be a very difficult uh, situation. Um, if, if we manage, we can manage to try to what we, what we call to, um, to slacken and tighten the, the line, mm. what we call um, blaming term, we always call it like use a kita method um, to try. Um, if that doesn't work, I think. You have no choice but to break the line. But even breaking the line, you have to be careful. So how to do the kita method is uh, because you can't really use the rod to, to do it because the rod has a has some. I hold it. Yep. Okay. So I'll have just have to do it this way. Ooh. Okay. Unfortunately, this doesn't seems to work because you are. Uh, hook up on the boy and the boy has actually some movement but this kita method works well if you are, say you're stuck on the rocks okay. then you have a higher chance so if you need to break the line without breaking the rod number one is make sure that your your joint is is tight uh. all right the next thing that you want to do is you tighten the line uh. and instead of just moving this because when you move this your drag will slip so you can't break the line so what I normally do is I will hold the the drag knob uh. or the spool itself, okay, tighten. Alright, and then next thing you be careful, you don't look forward because anything can happen. Perhaps the line break and then if let's say it break it, uh, something break or the lure can sometimes fly back if let's say the things that break is over there. Uh. Okay, but in this case unlikely because the 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 strength of the boy uh, perhaps is going to be much uh, higher than your line. So what I'll do is I'll turn back and I'll move backwards. Okay. Okay. So it's broke off. Ooh. Okay, so when it's broke off, so what you do is that to keep the spare line, you just use your finger and then keep it here. So that the line goes into your reel with some tension. Yep. Okay. So unfortunately, perhaps. Oh, good. You uh, you didn't lose the the leader. Yep. So it broke I over here. Snap. Yeah. So you just need to put on a snap and a new lure, and you can go fishing again. Okay. All right. Here you are. Thanks, Red. Come. Good job Joyce! Wow, this is a very nice peacock. I think it's uh, either it's going to be um, trying to attract another mate to, to breed because they are in very brilliant colours right now. But uh, nevertheless, it's a very very nice and well done. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Yes, indeed. So I guess we're going to release it carefully. Okay, All right. sure. Oops, I think I released too early. Bye bye. Go, go, go. Bye bye, go. Hey, bye. Hey. I saw you still. Well, Joyce, that was a very difficult fishing session. But I'm so happy that you actually caught one. Yay, I caught one. So, 
What lure were you using to catch the particular fish? Trigo X Slop Hopper in Pink. This is the one. Oh, okay. Really nice. So I heard that in this particular reservoir, pink colour actually works very, very well. Yeah, the last round I went also the same thing. Alright, nice, nice. So, um, viewers, you have a chance to win uh, three pairs of this uh, Rapala gloves. We will be giving away uh, when you click like and comment. So, three winners will get one pair each. And uh, we will hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. Cut. Can I continue fishing? Yes, please. And catch bigger one, Joyce. Bigger one. Yeah, Come I'll on. Catch the papa fish. I'm so happy that actually you caught one fish. Yeah, I caught one bigger bass. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what kind of lure were you using? I was using the... Rubble... <laughs> what is that again? Uh? What, what lure were you using for, to catch the pickle bass? I was using the... <laughs> <laughs> I cannot remember! X... Extreme ah! No, it's three! X what? Trigger X! Oh! Trigger what lure were you using uh, to catch that particular fish? X. <laughs> I cannot remember.